everyone. Thank you for joining me today for our morning meeting. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, and it is National Dolphin Day. So the challenge is to find out some interesting facts about dolphins other than what I'm about to tell you. Did you know that there's over 40 species of dolphins and the length of dolphins range between four feet and 30 feet? So I hope you can find some other interesting things about dolphins. For our events in history today, on April 14th in 1755, Benjamin Franklin and the Philadelphia Quakers organized the first American society for the abolition of slavery. The challenge is to find out what that term abolition means. In 1828, the first edition of Noah Webster's An American Dictionary of the English Language was published. The challenge is to find some interesting words, maybe three or four, that you don't think people know what they mean, but you think that they're fun words to say. In 1865, President Abraham Lincoln was shot and fatally wounded by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. So before we go through what the challenge is for that, I want to share with you how today in history began with my students in my classroom. So years ago, I did Today in History because I wanted a historian and I wanted to prove that every day matters. And so I would look at the website Today in History and I would find some events that I thought were interesting and I'd type them up and I'd have the whole week's worth and I'd put them on the board and the historian would read what I thought was interesting. Well, then a wonderful person gave me this book and I'm sure she had kept it for a very long time because I've only had this book. I think this is my third year now and it already was worn and used and the kids would say, Mrs. Joe, the book's so old and I would use it for a metaphor. Just because something's old doesn't mean it's not useful. Just because it's torn and beat up doesn't mean we can't use it. Well, this year, probably about fourth quarter, the whole thing just fell apart. And the kids would tell me, Mrs. Job, it needs surgery. And I continued the metaphor, I would say. Just because it's broken doesn't mean it can't be used. Or just because it's broken doesn't mean it isn't worthy. And now, literally pages are coming out. So I think I am going to have to perform surgery. However, that is true. Just because something's broke and tattered and worn doesn't mean it's not wonderful and meaningful and have tons of wisdom within it. I love this book because the kids can go and just find the day and they can find for themselves what they think is interesting, birthdays or events. But this book also has some fun activities and interesting facts. And so this is where our challenge comes from today. At the time of President Lincoln's death, everything in his pockets was placed in a box, wrapped in brown paper and tied with a string. The box remained unopened until 1976. Inside was a linen handkerchief, an ivory pocket knife, eyeglasses mended with string and eight newspaper clippings praising Lincoln. Now this was a time that President Lincoln was heavily criticized and there were negative comments always said about him, but he seemed to be self-confident and he seemed not to be bothered by the negativity. And the question came about, well, maybe it was because he had these eight newspaper articles with him at all times saying positive things about him. And that is where your challenge comes in. Do you know that you have the power to strengthen someone else? Do you know that you have the power to make somebody's day and to help them to be confident? Think of somebody that is important to you and I want you to either write them a letter or write an essay about them and I want you to be specific about their actions and their attitude and I want you to really speak positive words into that person because you never know when they might need to reach into their pocket and read what you have written and how it might just carry them through a hard time in their life. And you have the power to do that. So I hope you take that challenge today. 
which leads us right into our motivation today, which is 365 Days of Wonder. Our motivation today comes from Jimmy Johnson. Challenges, find out who Jimmy Johnson is. And Jimmy Johnson said, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. So I want you to take a look around your life right now and what you think is just ordinary that maybe if you put a little extra into it, you can make it extraordinary. And then please share that with us. Thank you so much for staying connected with me as we learn, laugh, and lift each other up. And I hope you have a great and fantastic day.